Here are the top 10 most scandalous love affairs in Hollywood history. Stay tuned to the end to see the most shocking scandal of them all. You won't want to miss this. Our exploration of Hollywood's most scandalous love affairs begins with the legendary romance of Elizabeth Taylor and Richard Burton. This was not just a love affair. It was an explosive, tempestuous, and all-consuming passion that erupted on the set of Cleopatra in 1963. The chemistry between Taylor and Burton was undeniable, an electric force that defied reason and social norms. Both were married to other people when their love ignited, creating a whirlwind of scandal that would rock Hollywood to its core. Elizabeth Taylor, a luminous beauty with violet eyes, was already a Hollywood icon by the time she met Richard Burton. Her striking performances in classics like Cat on a Hot Tin Roof and Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf had earned her two Academy Awards. But it was her scandalous love life that often overshadowed her remarkable career. By the time she crossed paths with Burton, Taylor had been married four times and her love life was tabloid fodder. However, nothing could have prepared the world for the intensity of her relationship with Burton. Richard Burton, a Welsh actor known for his commanding stage presence and powerful performances in films like Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf and Beckett, was also no stranger to romantic entanglements. He was married twice before he met Elizabeth Taylor on the set of Cleopatra, where they played the iconic lovers Cleopatra and Mark Antony. Their on-screen chemistry was undeniable, and it didn't take long for their passionate roles to spill over into real life. What made their love affair so scandalous was the fact that both Taylor and Burton were already married to other people. Elizabeth Taylor was married to Eddie Fisher, a popular singer at the time, and Richard Burton was married to Sybil Williams. The affair between Taylor and Burton was a roller coaster of emotions marked by extravagant gestures, public displays of affection, and, at times, explosive fights that played out in front of the paparazzi. Their love affair was the stuff of Hollywood legend, capturing the imaginations of fans worldwide. The couple's romantic escapades were splashed across tabloids, making them one of the most talked about pairs in the world. They lived large, embracing a jet-setting lifestyle that included extravagant gifts, lavish vacations, and a famously expensive diamond known as the Taylor Burton Diamond. Despite the scandal and public condemnation, Taylor and Burton's love affair continued to burn fiercely. They couldn't stay away from each other, even if it meant defying societal norms and public opinion. Their tumultuous relationship eventually led to marriage, not once, but twice. They were wed in 1964, divorced in 1974, and remarried in 1975, only to divorce once again in 1976. Elizabeth Taylor and Richard Burton's love affair was a passionate and turbulent chapter in Hollywood history. It challenged conventional morality and forever altered the way we perceive celebrity relationships. Their love story serves as a testament to the unpredictable nature of human emotions, reminding us that even amidst the glitz and glamour of Hollywood, the heart can lead us down unexpected and scandalous paths. Next, we explore the, the forbidden love of Ingrid Bergman and Roberto Rossellini. Ingrid Bergman and Roberto Rossellini's love story stands as a testament to the power of love, art, and personal freedom. Bergman, a Swedish actress known for her ethereal beauty and remarkable acting talent, was already an international star when she met Italian director Rossellini in 1949. At the time, she was married to Dr. Peter Lindstrom, a Swedish dentist, and they had a daughter together. Roberto Rossellini, on the other hand, was a visionary filmmaker who had gained recognition for his neo-realist films. He was married to Marcella de Marquis, with whom he had three children. Despite their existing commitments, Bergman and Rossellini found themselves drawn to each other's creative energy 
and shared passion for filmmaking. Their paths crossed on the set of Stromboli, 1950, a film that would become a turning point in both their personal and professional lives. Bergman played the lead role of Karen, a Lithuanian refugee, and Rossellini directed the film. As they worked closely together, their professional collaboration evolved into a deeply personal and forbidden love affair. The scandalous nature of their relationship lay not only in the fact that they were both married, but also in the public's perception of Bergman as the epitome of purity and innocence. Her portrayal of virtuous characters in films like Casablanca and Gaslight had endeared her to audiences worldwide. The contrast between her on-screen persona and her real-life choices created a sensation. Ingrid Bergman's decision to leave her husband and daughter to be with Rossellini in Italy was met with harsh criticism and condemnation in the United States. It was not just a scandal, it was a societal outrage. US Senator Edwin C. Johnson denounced her on the floor of the Senate, calling her a horrible example of womanhood and suggesting that she was a powerful influence for evil. The scandal surrounding Bergman's affair with Rossellini ultimately resulted in her exile from Hollywood for several years. During this period, the couple had three children together, further fueling public disapproval. Bergman and Rossellini's love affair challenged the established norms of Hollywood and society, highlighting the tension between personal freedom and societal expectations. Their relationship was turbulent, marked by separations, reconciliations, and the birth of their children. Despite the challenges they faced, Bergman and Rossellini continued to collaborate on several films, including Journey to Italy, 1954, and Europa, 51, 1952. While their personal lives were marred by controversy, their artistic collaboration resulted in groundbreaking cinema that expanded the boundaries of storytelling. In the end, Ingrid Bergman and Roberto Rossellini's love affair demonstrated the complexities of love and the sacrifices individuals are willing to make for their passions. It challenged the conventional morality of the time and reshaped the trajectory of Bergman's career, ultimately leading to her triumphant return to Hollywood and the rediscovery of her talent. Section 3 the tumultuous relationship of Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie. Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie, the iconic duo known as Brangelina, represent a love affair that not only captivated the world, but also tested the limits of Hollywood's fascination with celebrity relationships. Their tumultuous journey began on the set of Mr. and Mrs. Smith in 2005, where they portrayed married spies with a twist they were actually married in real life, but not to each other. At the time, Brad Pitt was still married to Jennifer Aniston, one of America's sweethearts. The media frenzy that ensued upon the revelation of Pitt and Jolie's romantic involvement was unparalleled. It seemed as though the entire world was taking sides in the love triangle between Pitt, Jolie and Aniston. Hollywood's most glamorous power couple was born, but it came at the cost of a highly publicized divorce. Brad Pitt, with his striking good looks and talent, had already won over audiences with performances in films like Fight Club and Legends of the Fall. His marriage to Jennifer Aniston was seen as a fairy tale union, making their eventual separation even more shocking to the public. Angelina Jolie, an Oscar-winning actress known for her roles in Girl Interrupted and Lara Croft Tomb Raider, had built her reputation not only on her acting abilities, but also on her humanitarian work. Her adoption of children from different corners of the world had garnered her both admiration and media scrutiny. The scandal surrounding Brangelina's love affair was amplified by their shared involvement in humanitarian causes. They adopted three children together and had three biological children, creating a modern, multicultural family that garnered both praise and criticism. 
their travels to war-torn regions and commitment to philanthropy added another layer of complexity to their public image. Despite the controversies and the intense media scrutiny, Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie's relationship seemed to defy the odds. They continued to work together, raise their children, and advocate for humanitarian causes. However, after a decade together, their fairy tale romance took a tragic turn. In 2016, Angelina Jolie filed for divorce, citing irreconcilable differences. What followed was a bitter custody battle with allegations of substance abuse and parental misconduct making headlines. The breakup of Brangelina, one of Hollywood's most iconic couples, sent shockwaves through the industry and left fans heartbroken. Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie's love affair was a roller coaster ride of passion, fame, and adversity. It challenged traditional notions of love and family while providing a front row seat to the complexities of celebrity relationships. Their story reminds us that even in the world of glitz and glamour, love can be both exhilarating and heartbreaking. Next, we delve into the scandalous saga of Woody Allen and Soon Yi Previn. The scandal involving Woody Allen and Soon Yi Previn is a complex tale that transcends the boundaries of traditional love stories. Woody Allen, a prolific filmmaker known for his unique wit and storytelling, had a long and complicated relationship with actress Mia Farrow. The two were never married, but they had a personal and professional partnership that spanned over a decade. During their time together, Mia Farrow adopted several children, including Soon Yi Previn, who was originally from South Korea. Soon Yi grew up in the Farrow household, and Woody Allen played a paternal role in her life. However, when Soon Yi was in her early 20s, a scandalous revelation came to light. Woody Allen and Soon Yi Previn's love affair was discovered by Mia Farrow in 1992 when she found explicit photographs of Soon Yi in Allen's apartment. This shocking revelation led to a highly publicized and bitter breakup between Allen and Farrow further complicated by a custody battle over their adopted children. What made this scandal particularly shocking was the significant age difference between Alan and Soon Yi, as well as the fact that Alan had been a father figure to her for much of her life. The scandal led to widespread public condemnation, with many questioning the ethics of their relationship. The media frenzy and legal battles that followed cast a long shadow over Woody Allen's career. Woody Allen's reputation, built on films like Annie Hall and Manhattan, was forever tainted by the scandal. While he continued to make movies, the controversy surrounding his personal life remained a divisive topic. Sunya Previn, for her part, largely retreated from the public eye, choosing a life of relative privacy. The Woody Allen and Soon Yi Previn scandal forces us to grapple with complex questions about relationships, power dynamics, and consent. It serves as a stark reminder that love affairs can be shrouded in moral ambiguity and that the consequences of scandal can endure for years, impacting not only the individuals involved, but also the public's perception of their work. Next, we explore the ill-fated love of Eddie Fisher, Debbie Reynolds, and Elizabeth Taylor. Few love triangles in Hollywood history have been as dramatic and captivating as the one involving Eddie Fisher, Debbie Reynolds, and Elizabeth Taylor. Eddie Fisher, a popular singer of the 1950s, was married to America's sweetheart, Debbie Reynolds, when he found himself drawn into the magnetic orbit of Elizabeth Taylor. Debbie Reynolds, known for her bubbly personality and acting talents, was adored by the public. She and Fisher appeared to be the ideal Hollywood couple, raising two children together. However, when Elizabeth Taylor's third husband, producer Mike Todd, tragically died in a plane crash, Fisher was drawn into Taylor's circle of support. What followed was a love affair that would become one of the most scandalous and talked about events in Hollywood history. Eddie Fisher left Debbie Reynolds to marry Elizabeth Taylor in a whirlwind romance that shocked the world. 
The media frenzy surrounding the affair was unprecedented, with headlines blaring about the betrayal of America's sweetheart. The love triangle between Fisher, Reynolds and Taylor was marked by betrayal, broken friendships and a sense of public fascination. Eddie Fisher, once beloved by fans, became a pariah in the eyes of many. His decision to leave Reynolds for Taylor was seen as an act of ultimate disloyalty, and his career suffered as a result. Elizabeth Taylor, who had been widowed twice before marrying Fisher, faced her share of public backlash as well. Her image as a sultry, irresistible temptress was cemented by the scandal, but it came at a cost. The scandal also left a trail of broken friendships in its wake, as Taylor and Reynolds had been close friends prior to the affair. The affair between Eddie Fisher, Debbie Reynolds, and Elizabeth Taylor was a potent mix of passion, betrayal, and heartache. It served as a cautionary tale about the unpredictable nature of human emotions and the complexities of love and loyalty. Hollywood's golden era was forever changed by this tumultuous love affair. Finally, we must mention the passionate affair of Clark Gable and Carol Lombard. The love affair between Clark Gable and Carol Lombard is a timeless Hollywood love story marked by passion, devotion, and tragedy. It began on the set of No Man of Her Own in 1932, where Gable and Lombard's on-screen chemistry sizzled with an intensity that spilled over into real life. Clark Gable, known as the King of Hollywood, was a charismatic leading man with rugged good looks. His performances in classics like Gone with the Wind and It Happened One Night had made him one of the most beloved and iconic actors of his time. Carol Lombard, on the other hand, was a vivacious and talented actress known for her comedic timing and infectious charm. She was equally successful in both dramatic roles and screwball comedies, making her a versatile and beloved figure in Hollywood. Gable and Lombard's love affair was passionate and intense, but it was not without its challenges. At the time, both were married to other people, Gable was married to his second wife, Maria Langham, and Lombard was married to actor William Powell. However, their connection was undeniable, and they soon found themselves in a torrid love affair. What made their love affair scandalous was the fact that it occurred during an era when the studio system tightly controlled the public image of Hollywood stars. The studios carefully crafted the personas of their actors and often dictated whom they could and could not date or marry. Gable and Lombard's relationship flew in the face of these restrictions. Despite the societal norms and constraints of the time, Gable and Lombard's love affair continued to flourish. They were often seen together at social events and their genuine affection for each other was evident to all who knew them. Gable's devotion to Lombard was particularly striking, as he was known for his reluctance to marry again after two previous failed marriages. Their love story took a tragic turn in 1942, when Carol Lombard, at the height of her career, perished in a plane crash while returning from a war bond tour. The nation mourned the loss of the beloved actress, and Gable was devastated by the loss of his soulmate. He enlisted in the military and served during World War E, honoring Lombard's memory and contributing to the war effort. Clark Gable and Carole Lombard's love affair remains a poignant chapter in Hollywood history. It defied societal norms, showcased the power of genuine affection and ultimately ended in tragedy. Their story reminds us that love in Hollywood, like in life, can be unpredictable intense and enduring. Bill Cosby. Bill Cosby, the actor and comedian once known as America's dad, was convicted of sexual assault in 2018 and sentenced to three to 10 years in prison. He was released from prison in June 2021 after his conviction was overturned on a technicality. Cosby was accused of drugging and raping dozens of women over the course of decades. 
The allegations against him first came to light in 2005, when Andrea Constand, a Temple University employee, sued him for sexual assault. Cosby settled the case out of court for undisclosed terms. In 2015, more than 50 women came forward to accuse Cosby of sexual assault. He was charged with three counts of aggravated indecent assault for drugging and raping Andrea Constand at his home in Philadelphia in 2004. He was found guilty in 2018 and sentenced to three to ten years in prison. Cosby's conviction was overturned in 2021 by Pennsylvania's Supreme Court, which ruled that a prosecutor had violated Cosby's due process rights by making a press release about the case that could have prejudiced the jury. Despite his release from prison, Cosby's legacy is tarnished by the allegations against him. He is still considered a pariah by many, and his name has been removed from several awards and honors. Despite his release from prison, Cosby's legacy is tarnished by the allegations against him. He is still considered a pariah by many, and his name has been removed from several awards and honors. Number 8. Charlie Chaplin Charlie Chaplin, a famous silent film actor known for his on-screen persona, The Tramp, married Lita Gray when she was 16 years old in 1924. Gray filed for divorce from Chaplin in 1927, alleging that he had made revolting, degrading, and offensive sexual requests and forced her to perform illegal sex acts. Chaplin didn't want to use condoms. He claimed rubber condoms were aesthetically hideous. As a result, he fathered 11 children during his lifetime. Chaplin loved being intimate with very young girls. Three out of his four wives were 18 or younger when he married them. Only Paulette Goddard, his third wife, was older. She was 26 when she secretly married Chaplin. The divorce papers in regards to his relationship with Lita Gray revealed that Chaplin had met Gray when she was eight years old. Furthermore, in 1916, he began dating Mildred Harris, a 14-year-old girl. He was forced to marry her in 1918 after he found out she was pregnant. They divorced in 1920. The allegations against Chaplin have never been proven in court, but they have led to renewed scrutiny of his legacy. In addition to the allegations made by Gray, there have been other accusations of sexual misconduct against Chaplin, such as the case of Joan Barry, who accused him of raping her in 1949. Barry's case was eventually dismissed, but it further damaged Chaplin's reputation. Chaplin's legacy is complex and contradictory. He was a talented actor and filmmaker who made significant contributions to the entertainment industry. However, the allegations of sexual misconduct against him have cast a shadow over his reputation. It is important to note that Chaplin never admitted to any of the allegations against him and always maintained his innocence. However, the allegations have been taken seriously by many people, and they have led to a reassessment of Chaplin's legacy. Number 7. Dustin Hoffman Dustin Hoffman has been accused of sexual misconduct by multiple women, including sexual assault, groping, and exposing himself. The allegations span his career from the early 1970s to the present day. In 2017, four women accused Hoffman of sexual misconduct in a Variety article. One woman, Corey Thomas, said that Hoffman exposed himself to her in a hotel room when she was 16 years old. Another woman, Melissa Kester, said that Hoffman groped her and made inappropriate comments while she was working on the film Ishtar in 1987. A third woman, who asked to remain anonymous, said that Hoffman assaulted her in the back of a station wagon. Hoffman denied all of the allegations, calling them defamatory falsehoods. He has not been charged with any crimes. In 2019, another woman, Anna Graham Hunter, accused Hoffman of sexually harassing her while she was a production assistant on the TV show Death of a Salesman in 1985. Hunter said that Hoffman repeatedly made inappropriate comments and touched her inappropriately. Hoffman apologized to Hunter for making her feel uncomfortable, but he denied any wrongdoing. 
the allegations against Hoffman have had a significant impact on his career. He has been dropped from several projects, including a Broadway revival of The Graduate. He has also been banned from the Actors Studio, a prestigious theatre training program. The allegations against Hoffman are part of a larger reckoning with sexual misconduct in Hollywood. In recent years, many powerful men in the entertainment industry have been accused of sexual assault and harassment. Number 6. Roman Polanski Roman Polanski is a Polish-French filmmaker who's been accused of sexual assault by five women, including a 13-year-old girl. He pleaded guilty to unlawful sexual intercourse with a minor in 1977, but fled the United States before sentencing. He has been a fugitive ever since. The most well-known case against Polanski is the 1977 incident involving Samantha Geimer. Geimer was 13 years old when Polanski gave her champagne and qualudes and then drugged and raped her at Jack Nicholson's house. Polanski pleaded guilty to the lesser charge of unlawful sexual intercourse with a minor, but fled the country before sentencing. In 2017, Geimer wrote an open letter to Polanski, asking him to end his exile and return to the United States to face sentencing. Polanski has refused to do so, and he remains a fugitive. In addition to Geimer, four other women have accused Polanski of sexual assault. These allegations date back to the 1960s and 1970s. Polanski has denied all of the allegations. Polanski's history as a predator has cast a shadow over his career. He has won numerous awards for his films, including an Academy Award for Best Director for The Pianist, 2002. However, he has been unable to return to the United States to accept these awards. The case of Roman Polanski is a complex one. There are strong arguments to be made on both sides. Some people believe that Polanski should be brought to justice for his crimes, while others believe that he has already been punished enough. Ultimately, it is up to the courts to decide whether or not Polanski will ever face justice. Number 5. Woody Allen Woody Allen has been accused of sexual abuse by his adopted daughter, Dylan Farrow, since 1992. The allegation has been the subject of much controversy, with Allen and his supporters maintaining his innocence and Farrow and her supporters believing her account. The allegation stems from an incident that allegedly occurred in August 1992 when Dylan was seven years old. Farrow claims that Alan led her to a private area of the attic in her Connecticut home and molested her. Alan has denied the allegation, and no charges were ever filed against him. The allegation has had a significant impact on Alan's career. He has been ostracized by many in the entertainment industry, and his films have been met with protests. In 2018, the Me Too movement renewed attention to the allegation, and several actors who had previously worked with Alan expressed regret for doing so. The truth of the allegation may never be known for certain. However, the fact that it has been made by Alan's own daughter and that it has been supported by many people who know her suggests that it is a serious matter that should not be dismissed. In addition to the allegation by Dylan Farrow, Alan has also been accused of sexual misconduct by other women, including Mia Farrow's former assistant, Soon Yi Previn, who is now Alan's wife, and actress Mia Kirshner. Allen has denied all of these allegations. The allegations against Woody Allen have cast a shadow over his career and reputation. Whether or not he is guilty of sexual abuse, the allegations have raised serious questions about his behavior around children. If you are enjoying this video so far, then hit that subscribe button and we will continue to make videos like this. Stay tuned until the end to find out who was the worst predator of them all. Number 4. Morgan Freeman In 2012, there were rumors that Freeman and Hines were having an affair. Freeman and Hines denied the rumors, calling them defamatory fabrications. However, the rumors persisted, 
and were a factor in the cancellation of Freeman's production deal with Revelations Entertainment. In 2015, Hines was found dead in her apartment in New York City. She had been stabbed multiple times. Her boyfriend, Lamar Davenport, was arrested and charged with her murder. Davenport claimed that he was high on drugs and that he did not remember killing Hines. He was convicted of second-degree murder and sentenced to 20 years to life in prison. The relationship between Morgan Freeman and Edina Hines has been the subject of much speculation and controversy. Some people believe that the rumors of an affair were true and that Hines' death was a result of that affair. Others believe that the rumors were false and that Hines' death was a tragedy that had nothing to do with Freeman. The truth about the relationship between Morgan Freeman and Edina Hines may never be known. However, the allegations against Freeman have cast a shadow over his reputation and his legacy. Number 3. Marilyn Manson Marilyn Manson, whose real name is Brian Warner, has been accused of sexual, physical and emotional abuse by multiple women. The allegations first came to light in 2021, when Evan Rachel Wood, Manson's ex fiance accused him of abuse in an Instagram post. Wood said that Manson had horrifically abused her for years, starting when she was a teenager. In the wake of Wood's allegations, several other women came forward with similar accusations. These women say that Manson would isolate them from their friends and family and that he would threaten to ruin their careers if they left him. Manson has denied all of the allegations against him. The allegations have had a significant impact on Manson's career. He has been dropped by his record label, his management company, and his agent. He has also been fired from several upcoming projects. The allegations against Manson are a reminder that abuse can happen anywhere, even in the entertainment industry. It is important to speak out against abuse and to hold abusers accountable. Number 2. Kevin Spacey Kevin Spacey is an American actor who has been accused of sexual assault by multiple men. The allegations first came to light in October 2017, when actor Anthony Rapp alleged that Spacey had made a sexual advance toward him when he was 14 years old. In the wake of Rapp's allegations, several other men came forward with similar accusations. These men include actor Corey Stoll, who said that Spacey groped him at a party in 2003 and former crew member Harry Dreyfus, who said that Spacey groped him at Spacey's apartment in 2008. Spacey has denied all of the allegations against him. He has said that he does not remember the alleged encounter with Rapp, but that he owes Rapp the sincerest apology for what would have been deeply inappropriate drunken behavior if he had behaved as asserted. Spacey has also been accused of sexual misconduct by other men including an anonymous massage therapist who said that Spacey groped him in 2016. The allegations against Spacey have had a significant impact on his career. He was fired from the Netflix series House of Cards and the film All the Money in the World. He has also been dropped by his talent agency and his publicist, Spacey is currently under investigation by the Los Angeles County District Attorney's Office. He has not been charged with any crimes. The allegations against Kevin Spacey are a reminder that sexual assault can happen to anyone regardless of their age, gender or status. It is important to speak out against abuse and to hold abusers accountable. Number 1. Harvey Weinstein Harvey Weinstein was a film producer who was accused of sexual harassment and assault by over 80 women. The allegations against Weinstein led to the Me Too movement, which inspired women all over the world to come forward with their own stories of sexual assault and harassment. Weinstein's pattern of abuse was reportedly well known in Hollywood, but he was able to operate with impunity for decades because of his power and influence. 
He used his position to coerce women into unwanted sexual encounters, often threatening to ruin their careers if they refused. Weinstein was eventually convicted of rape and sexual assault and sentenced to 23 years in prison. However, his conviction is just one small step in the fight against sexual harassment and assault. There is still much work to be done to create a world where women are safe from abuse. In addition to the Me Too movement, Weinstein's case also led to changes in the film industry. Many studios and production companies implemented new policies to prevent sexual harassment and assault. These policies include mandatory training for employees, anonymous reporting systems, and zero-tolerance policies for harassment. While Weinstein's case is a dark chapter in Hollywood history, it is also a story of hope. The women who came forward with their stories helped to change the culture and make it safer for women everywhere. Their courage and strength is an inspiration to us all. If you have found this video insightful, then please subscribe and leave us a like in solidarity against these wrongful actions. We believe these incidents should be brought to light to encourage other women to come forward and share their stories in confidence.